And as I was saying, the company I used to work for donated all that money uh, to this man who allegedly was picking up kids at the YMCA. Um, that for some reason they had restricted these people with their money. And so when they say this man's name, whose name is Roy Moore, they would say like when I just say it right now, so I can pay attention. But the things they say to me is like it's our world, we are war, it's our money, all these bullshit stories because it's commonly used to try to make you believe that this is not a governmental entity doing this thing, but it's some group of rogue individual. In my case, they like try to make themselves be like this is like some feminist, femme fatale group of rogue women. I mean, and for me, like, I'm in New York, so you, there's, there's kind of people, uh, you know, the, there's a lot of progressive, liberal-looking individual, and they involve themselves, and, you know, I'm actually more on the progressive side, but, and I'm looking at them, and they still try to present themselves, like, do you understand I can say two words and make you feel nervous? The name? Do you know that? Of, of course this is not you. This is crazy. Uh, it's, it's, it's like I, I obviously know what you're part and and there's been women literally saying there's a lot of females involved in this program and in my mind they're like no but those those females those women are not progressive liberal women it's like yeah right that's it wherever you stand in whatever po politics liberal or conservative does not make you a good or bad person you can be a foul human being being a liberal you can be a, a foul human being being a conservative you can be tomorrow going to in a rally protecting women and tomorrow involved in a program that I hear causing women to lose their children. So I, I, you know, if anything, I'm like, I see them for what they are. And it's even foul because if you're somebody who are presenting yourself as a protective of women or children, you will never be involved in this program. Because this program literally tortured children, torture women in ways that you can't even understand the atrocities. It's not even just like, it's atrocities. So if you're somebody who care about children and want to take care of children, like most of us, you will not be involved in a program where kids are being tortured in these ways for the purpose of developing a, a weapon. So for me, it's been over. Like I see them for what they are, opportunists. And so me, when they force me, so they rewire the brain in these disgusting ways. I understand. It's nothing unique to me. They do... They do that to, to others. Rewiring the brain is how they're pushing people to lose their mind. It's part of this breakdown tactics. And they want you to identify to it. So they want you to accept this way your brain is being rearranged, restructured. And so you see that's proof. We paired it. And really you hear the noise campaign, oh, that's supposed to make sense. That your brain has been manipulated in a way that is paired to how you experience things when you were a kid. That's why you hear this noise campaign. It's pathetic. But you, they are humiliated by the reality of the entities who empower them to pair people. You hear this trash. I saw pedophilia centric and this is why he's making noise campaign. That people who actually care about children make sure that kids are safe. Are ranking these people and it's called chocolate. The, the chocolate takes the protective services as 19th in regard of trafficking child porn within a network out of 3,000 networks. That is such a problem that a bill was created because they are letting, there's so much child porn coming in the DOD network, coming in the DOD network, that this child protective entities rank them 19th out of 2,900. That's why you hear this motherfucker making noise campaign because this is who's contracting this law life. Well, they're like, now what we did, we paired it. The way you're experiencing things today is what you experienced when you were a kid. Basically saying that my brain now is manipulated to a brain I had when I was a child. Basically saying that my brain has been mentally retarded to be a brain's child. This person talking to me is probably a, a, a person that's in the 60s. You no know, one day I saw this man working here. And I asked, hey, you look like a 13-year-old. And he started laughing. <laughs> so imagine, I was like, hey, we made your brain like a 13-year-old. And because what's happening to them, matter of fact, <laughs> she, he had a, a 12, 13-year-old kid, his grandchild, which they tried to mess with me in my brain. At first, they made me mad. It's so sad. The baby. Of course, they do the pedophilia type of torture, making me look at this kid in ways that they try to make me look at kids in this, this disgusting ways. 
but just realize imagine they made your brain be the ch brain of your child and they said that oh imagine they, they were saying that the brain that you have today that the way they manipulate you is to make they paired this brain to the brain that of the child that you have in your pictures here it's embarrassing that's why you hear this noise campaign about our oh, name they live life in this humiliating life that's why God is good. And that's why it's fair. Because the people where there's so much pedophilia issue, that they're doing, there's, there's a law created or something to create to start to limit the amount of pedophilia that's coming in this DOD network. Because there's so many pedophiles in these agencies, in these entities, that the amount of child porn circulating within the DOD network is so high that a child protective service ranked them 19 out of 3,000. In regard of trafficking child porn in the network the bill was try to limit the amount of coming in not try to limit the amount of pedophiles coming in but the child porn and you hear these people that you see them, some of them look like children like they are mentally like you know they, it's that I felt bad because this person say we're going to frame you and then my father who's in jail is going to get you or something like that I'm like you sad listen to you what you said if you had a father around you, he will never let you do this. Now you feel empowered by people who do this pedophilia type of torture and make people think in these retarded ways. A man just killed 18 people. He was a target individual, Robert Duck. And you know how much they were trying to make me believe maybe he's not so obviously a target individual. A little girl who got shot at, so only 10 years old. Say, why would somebody do that? It's because there's people here contracted by governmental entities for the purpose of developing technology to make people lose their mind and see how they can control them to do things that they will not do naturally. That walk them to their death. And if the death consists of killing others, it's okay. That's the death that they chose for them. And this poor kid gets shot in, t in the leg while this trash are here doing everything possible to counter the reality. I'm so thankful to God that I didn't have to live this life. I know I'm going to live a horrible life, a torture life, life. But listen to this trash. There's somebody opening the door saying, yeah, leave, get out of here, to try to disorient you. It's our money. It's, they're saying whatever it is that can be agitating, distracting, for me to take over, to, to not see the things that they want to hear. But they're going to make the mistake to do that in front of me. Because if I can articulate that in front of, in this camera, and they try to play their game, and I see them how they look because when you see them, it's even worse. You see these losers, this child like trash. Okay, like, look at you. No wonder why you love this thing. Yeah, war. Well, look at you. Yes, you said that. You, you're a delusional kid. Who's that appearing? <laughs> trash ass. It's nothing worse to see the grown ass. The, the grown people, this is the worst. The men you heard make noise campaign because I was saying that they're saying they're, 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 the, the entities that give them the power to pair. Basically saying that what I'm experiencing today, they paired it. They made me experience something that I've experienced when I was a kid and they paired that to a brain of somebody in, in, in middle school. You know how stupid that sounds? But for that person, he's holding to that like as if it makes sense. Do you know, like this, if that was like even illogical, like would you even, if you see a grown person, it's like, oh, I can't imagine how he was thinking when he was a kid. This pair to his 13 year old brain. That's it. What it's what is retarded. Sorry for the language, but literally, mentally retardation. But on top of that, it's even falsified. So not only you use this falsified, this retarded mentality of trying to make me subscribe, then you falsify my memories as a child. The reason why they do that is because they hold on to a child action, the appropriate action of, of a child. Which, to people who torture children. To people who rewire brain in these disgusting ways. That try to make you accept this manipulation. Who that just caused a mass shooting that killed 18 people. That's involved in a program that torture babies. Oh, they're going to hold on to whatever they can. They don't want to match them. People who work for governmental entities, they're so pedophilia centric that there's pedophilia issues to the point where there's a bill try to limit the amount of pedophilia, child porn, whatever, pedophilia things, sorry, child porn, you see that they try to confuse, child porn coming in, not pedophiles, there's a bunch of pedophiles coming in, as long as this pedophile don't use these computers, it's okay. But the child porn is coming in so much of it, within this DOD network, which this trash, I'm torturing me, not even torturing me, the reason what's, what's happening to my organs is happening to me, is because I'm a test subject for these governmental entities, where there's pedophilia issues, this trash are just implementing the tactics. 
they get incentives, financial or not, I don't know. I'm sure there's some financial incentives, and um, I can only imagine they can't just do that for nothing, for no money, because they got to make a living still. But I'm sure there's some financial incentives, if not financial in incentives, just the fact that you're involved in a program where you can just feel like a, a god. Some of them are losers. They have nothing else to show. Even people who have things already. They want to. The incentives are so good that anybody who can want to be involved in it, you have the ability to manipulate a human being and watch that person break down and see. Like you, you become like this god figure, looking at, at, at some like thing that is life is breaking down. You see everything that's going to happen to them. You have no control. Like that alone is an incentive. You know, like you see like those wealthy people who become like haunt human like, like in fictional ways right or that can that want to control human beings it's that feeling that they get oh you see you should, you should see how they walk the confidence when they talk about what because everything for me is okay straight in. so i can see the, the appeal the intoxicating appeal of that and try to do they, they can do everything to me and I have nothing, no control over that. But at what cost? This is the cost. The cost of this guy who's going to lose it, is going to go crazy, find out he, he, he knows there's a bunch of pedophiles in these entities. They are torturing babies, infants, three week old being tortured. Three week old. Like, when we could, like I'm going to like, pay for what you did as a kid. <laughs> You're in a program that literally tortures three week, three week old infants. It's toddlers grabbing the genitals because they hurt, because you're using this TOD technology onto them. <laughs> God. They, they, they just, that's the price. And they try to distance themselves like, no, you can't distance yourself from the thing that you're involved in. And the only reason why you're able to do this thing to me is because you're involved in a program that does this to kids. That's what they don't want to be seen. Then the mass shooting, that they try to make it, they, you'll see the video, it's so surreal and, and and scary it's like it gives you like it makes me very scared not scared but <sighs> this man wow they drove him to that and to see the cops coming to him and talking to him and he's like saying the same thing that so many other target videos are saying now these people are saying this this weird attention you know he even got head ear ear head uh, earring head head because he wanted to hear what those people were saying you know in the media what they said they said that he got the earring aids and then he started hearing those voices. No, he got the earring aids because he was hearing voices and he wanted to make sure what those voices were saying. Do you understand? How, and when he describes, he's like, I keep leaving jobs and this still ha this happens again. They have these people like having this conversation. I can hear in the conversation, this direct conversation. Everywhere I go, I go to the supermarket, there's this... It's like I used to have, like, nobody used to pay attention. I was almost invisible. And also, I got the spotlight. You should see here. It's just so sad. And this man killed 18 people. And you hear this 10 year old, like, why would somebody do that? I didn't know. And they still try to debunk that. It's like, it's too, it's too much. But guess what? They're going to watch me scream. And guess what? The special thing, the, the, you know, the special way they can't say their name? The person is going to torture me because when they frame me, I guess I'll be in an environment where there's people who, who have no, you know, they can do whatever. Those people will be, be able to say Roy more clearly, while this trash have to say in a special way. But they're watching them win. Target video, you have to be strong. But you gotta also understand that this is a dignified life. Do you understand how much countering of reality they have to do? They still are here trying to make me think, now we mad to see what you experienced, what you remember what you did as a kid, what you did, what you did as a kid, that's proof that's in there. Like, no. A child obviously can do this inappropriate action and acts. That's what a kid is capable of doing. But your damas are here doing the pedophilia type of torture. So renowned, there's a term called pedophilia type of torture. I didn't come up with this term. I never said the word pedophilia type of torture until I heard. Somebody say, I'm a target individual, and they do this pedophilia type of torture. 